Today's lesson is lesson 111, multiplying decimal numbers by 10, by 100, and by 1,000. All right, so if I wanted to multiply the number 1.234 times 100, whenever I multiply by a number 10 or 100, the value of each decimal place and each place value is 10 times greater than the one before. So all I need to do is shift the decimal place to change the answer to this question. So if I have 1.234 and I'm multiplying it by 100, I'm going to shift the decimal place two points places to the right. One way to remember that is that there's two zeros in 100. So I can shift the decimal place one, two places to the right. So the answer is going to be 123.4. And that's really easy to do in your head just by shifting the decimal place. Okay. So if I want to multiply 1.234 by 10, well, there's one zero, so that means I'm going to move the decimal place one place to the right. So the answer is going to be 12.34. Okay. If I want to multiply that by 1,000, then I'm going to take that decimal place and move it to the right three times because there's three zeros here. So one, two, three. So my answer is going to be 1,234. Now this time I have 0 0.1234 and I'm timesing it by 100. So two zeros, I'm going to move the decimal place two times. One, two. So my answer is 12.34, which is the same answer as the first one. Hey, what about 0 0.345? If I multiply by 10, there's one zero, so I shift the decimal place one place to the right. So my answer would be 3.45. If I multiply by 100, I shift the decimal place two places to the right. One, two. So the answer would be 34.5. And the last one is multiply by 1,000. There's three zeros, so we shift it three places. One, two, three. So my answer is going to be 345. Okay, so when you multiply by 10, a decimal by 10, 100, or 1,000, all you have to do is move the decimal place. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.